Hey guys, it's Ann over at Plant Obsessed, and uh, today I just wanted to do an update, um, probably more for my record than for yours, of what my garden is doing on uh, June 6th. So these are my red onions, white onions, and garlic in this bin. Um, I actually don't know what this is. My worms grew me something and I felt obliged to let it go. It is either a cantaloupe or pumpkin, not sure. Let me know in the comments below if you know what this is. Either way, we're gonna let it be. Um, so that is how they're doing. I don't think they're putting up any bulk. If anybody's got a good experience with onions on why they might not be putting on the bulb part, let me know. Um, my succession planning is going slowly. The turnips and the radishes are done. The beets are still beating. I uh, got half the peppers in. You can see the tray with the rest of the peppers that is waiting to go in as soon as the beets are done. And in the back there, you can see my lemon balm. And Grandpa Pepper is looking a little, well, aged. Fingers crossed that he uh, picks it up and keeps doing what he's doing. All right, the tomatoes is what I've got in here. I've got my Romas and... Uh, Amish paste tomatoes and some lemon boys. I think they're lemon boys. Let me let me see. Uh, nope, golden boy this year. You never know what you're gonna find at the store. All right, then we're over here. These are my gooseberries. I don't expect to get anything out of them this year. Uh, this is my do-over on my figs. I don't expect anything out of them either. The currants, I'm, I'm getting something, but something's happening to the leaves. I'm not sure what that is. So if anybody knows what could possibly be going on with my current, let me know. I'm thinking about planting it in the ground um, now that it seems to like this, this area. Done something interesting this year. I am planting upside down cucumbers. So the thought is the cucumbers will go in here and then they will dangle down. I don't know if anybody's done anything like that. Also, put it in the comment below. The grapes are graping. They continue to do their thing. Need to get in here and, and straighten them out a little bit, but there we go. The future grapes. They are kind of taking over a bit. Uh, there are grapes in there, but apparently the uh, squirrels wanted to grow a walnut instead and more lemon balm it's rows of share in there and my rhubarb which I never did get around to taking it out being going in seed and my poor little asparagus that I still have not clipped off more lemon mint hope you're seeing a trend there with the lemon mint I love it but it does go all over the place. This is my Widow's Tears, the Schwandenberg Blue. And by comparison, let me pull one of these stems. You can only see these early in the morning. But, uh, so this uh, pinky purple one is called Hawaiian Punch. And it is about the color of Hawaiian Punch. It's pretty amazing. Um, so I do like my Widow's Tears. So as you can see, there's a whole mess of it there. And I always have to take a Schwandenberg with me to see if it is the Virginica or whatever, or the Schwandenberg. It's hard for me to tell. Apparently it's more the Schwandenberg, which is great because I love it. Over here, um, I think this whitish color one is called Pixie. Um, so, and then uh, more rows of Sharon. I took out the rose bushes. And then we've got mint mint, chocolate mint, which is fabulous. I know it's invasive, but I love it. And it loves me back and gives me lots of mojitos. All right, uh, let's see. Yeah, the that's done blooming for the year. My big old new pastas. There's my shoe for scale. Um, yeah, all that mess. That's uh, trumpet vine. The hummingbirds love it, but it loves me a little too much. 
You can see the apples are starting to apple. I was worried I wasn't going to get a very good crop. We had a lot of late frost this year. All right. So here's the shade garden from outside the fence. There's some of the widow's tears that are pale blue. They're just naturalizing, I guess is the good word for it. And there's the Virginia. That's the native to Illinois one. It is the pinky purple one that's not as pinky purple as the Hawaiian punch. And all of the cool wet weather we've had here uh, I'm 5'5", five five, and these ferns are almost as tall as me this year. They have never done this before. I love it. I'm not sure if, I mean, all that was back here with it was regular old daylilies like this. So maybe next year, if it's not a very good year for um, ferns, maybe the daylilies can come back a little. But as you can tell, I have some weeding to do. I've got some volunteer... Uh, purple bird shit trees. Um, excuse the language. That's how I feel about it. All right. And I haven't made a video about it, but this is burdock. And I use these in my cement projects to make stepping stones and make waterfalls with the uh, cement. Here's the tiger lilies. These are doing lovely. Um, let's, let's pull this off and smell it and see what it is. This is, I think it's apple mint. I don't know if this is more burdock or if it's something else. Whatever it is, it needs to get weeded out for sure. Uh, these lovely white umbrials uh, that seem to have a lot of friends, that is snow on the mountain going to flower, which is why it goes all over the place because it makes millions of seeds. And as you can see here, I have a lot of weeding to do because this is my um, herb garden. And uh, so by the literal definition of invasive mint, this is all the apple mint. And I just planted this last year. Each one of these fence panels is six feet long. Yeah, probably gonna have to do something about that. I think it is a recipe for mojitos this evening. I have other stuff under here like, you know, sedum and, and other things, but gosh, geez, that apple mint is just losing its mind. Um, pineapple mint, by comparison, planted at the same time, that's all the further it's gone. Uh, so some mints are crazy and some aren't. There's my little uh, sedum that I haven't put back into the ground yet. And coming around, Got my day lilies. One opened yesterday, so I guess I don't get one today. But this is Joseph's coat, climbing rose. So as you can see there, I have a yellow, and then one of these was orange yesterday and one was red. But as they age, they change colors, which I think is fabulous. And the little day lilies that are in there amongst the roses are not ready. All right, coming into the rest of the yard, you can tell I should probably put the damn camera down and do some weeding. Um, and I will, as soon as I get done with this. So here we go, got the Ligulera, got the different hostas, got my new rubber tree plant. Uh, avocado, hibiscus more more hostas and more snow on the mountain that I need to weed out. Here's the flip side of what we saw on the fence there. More of the big hostas, some of my bonsais in the background there. Um, more hostas, more hostas. That's one of my concrete projects. It's gonna be a bird bath as soon as I get the base built. More hostas. And more hostas, more hostas, more widow's tears.
that's probably my favorite one right now. It's called Limelight. And these burdock leaves are ready to get pulled and made into something cool. I'll probably bring you guys around with me when I do that too. Um, so yeah, more widow's tears. Um, this is the toad lily. In case anybody wants to know what this invasive little pain in the butt is that has the beautiful blue flowers, that is called dayflower. Uh, more hostas. These are my new hostas. I can't tell if those praying hand hostas are happy or if that's just the way they look. They're, they're causing me anxiety. Um, and here are the Twinkle in Time ones. I think they're adorable. And then the big view of everything. Got a big old Joe Pie weed growing in the back there. Um, looks like a, I don't know, tropical plant of some sort, but it, it grows here native. All right, guys. Well, that's the end of the June 6th tour of my garden. If you like the video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that little bell icon. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me in my garden. And everybody, have a good day.